tonight, my sister, that person who's offering you, don't. God will take care of your child. I promise you that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God will take care of your child. See the devil for who they is. They appear as angel of light. It means, in other words, they are saviors. There's something about them you know they don't care nothing about God. Because as far as they are concerned, they have what you need. And as far as they're concerned, they have the money, they have the car, they have the house. Some of them have two houses, you know. A lot of these people, sometimes they're family people. Woman for you know may have children. The man you know may have children, may have wife, girlfriend, who knows what he has. And some of them, they have two houses, many cars, vehicles. So whenever they're ready to carry out their ritual, they're not going to go to their house, the family house. You know, you ain't going to do that. But they're going to take it to their private house, another house that they have or another home that they have. And for many tonight, they're in hotels. They make sure they go to hotels far away where nobody can recognize or know them to carry out the rituals. And that victim, there's someone who's being victimized tonight. They are a human sacrifice tonight. They're about to allow that satanic person that they think is just an innocent sexual activity, not realizing it is blood exchange. It is power being drawn from their soul. And a lot of times they walk away bitter and angry. A lot of times they become confused because you see that person who's carrying out the act knows that they are transferring and they are becoming a controller of your soul and your life so that at any phone call or text or show up, you have to give in. You have to give in. You are now their slave. You are now their slave. Ask yourself the question. This person who's participating in this for a while, why is it that every time this person show up, even though you know they're wicked and evil, that you just got to go with them because of what you're taking from them? Do you realize that that's power that they have over you? Do you want to break that spell tonight by the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus? You can break that tonight. Do you really want to? You see, if you look through the scriptures when the Lord was traveling was upon this earth, it never really helped anyone unless they have faith in him. Have faith tonight and believe that if you committedly, repentedly confess and ask of God, with all seriousness and conviction that for Christ I live and for Christ I will die, the Holy Spirit, your creator and maker, will give you the power to break every chain, to break every satanic yoke, to break every satanic stronghold over your life tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. How are you hearing me tonight, beloved? But your heart... And your commitment, your passion got to be say yes. You see, in the scripture, it speaks of the violent taking it by force. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> That's communicate, Lord. It's dropping back these verses, these Bible verses in my spirit. I already uh, quoted to you Psalms 46, 1, uh, Matthew 6, 24, Philippians 4, 6, 7, uh, 2 Corinthians 11, 14. You can write no Bible verses and look them up for yourself. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. But you see, glory be to God. The devil goes about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Beloved, be not so gullible. Be not so greedy. Be not so anxious. Accept who you are, where you are in life. And let God esteem you tonight. Only the prideful and the gullible, the devil, God will allow the devil, the enemy, to devour until they learn their lessons. And a lot of times, hallelujah, they are those who are in the grip and the grasp of Satan through a woman who become their savior or a man, a boy who become their savior only to realize 
that is only if they cry out. And the Bible says Israel cry out unto God and God hears them. It's only until that person cry out to God, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. That's the cry. God will step in and deliver that young man, that woman, that man. Because by the crying out, God now understand they have learned their lesson to not be so gullible and prideful. So tonight, beloved, God, if you don't remember anything else that I said tonight, and I, and, and I love to say this, uh, this is part of <laughs> the work of the mystery of the Lord live in my heart for many souls. Uh, it's spiritual warfare, but not only spiritual warfare, but but to, that 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 as you confess him in the Lord Jesus Christ and accept him in your heart, that you ask of the Holy Spirit, God's presence, whose name is Jesus Christ, that uh, came flesh, Emmanuel, as you ask of him to come and indwell you and sanctify you and purify you and transform you. And as you learn to walk in holiness and in life and by faith now, beloved, you also ask God open your spiritual eyes. You see, because you see, when the devil comes to you as an angel of light or that savior who says to you, oh, you know, I'm here for you whenever you need me. I, 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 uh, anything you need, you can ask me. When that savior, that demonic devil come to you and say that to you, you go to my dog, I say, oh, who do you think you are? You're, you're, who do think you're, 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 you're God or something? I don't need you. I need the Lord God. As a matter of fact, you need him more than I do. Rebuke him. Because that's the devil speaking through them. To make you subjected to them. And once you make that transfer, they hone you. They hone you. And the moment you're isolated, they come after you. If they ever see someone who's strong enough in the spiritual realm around you, they will not come. They will not show up. But they wait until you're isolated and the devil always know the right timing because he knows probably you're, you're so busy, so preoccupied. There is empty space in your room now so they can come and plant a word into your spirit and, and get you to become their slave. Yeah. So tonight, beloved, God, Psalms 46, 1. Remember Psalms 46, 1. God is a present help in time of need. Call upon him. Hmm? Be not anxious for anything, but in everything through prayer and supplication, call upon him. Hosanna, Hosanna in the eyes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, my Father, my Creator, and my God, I need you now. Believe that he is, and he will deliver you from the clutches of sin. From the clutches of that seducer, from the clutches of that satanic, charming young man, satanic, charming man, satanic, charming young lady, or satanic, charming woman, whose riches and wealth comes not by from the Lord, but comes through satanic means at the blood and expenses of others. And also you, who now is trying to break the yoke, who is trying to break away from them, but they are acting like they hone you and they're intimidating you because they want to put you to shame. Let them go ahead. Because the Lord God knows how to take you out of your ashes and make you heavenly wishes. The Lord, let them go ahead and shame you. Let them go ahead and embarrass you. I promise you, the moment they intimidate you and threaten you is the moment your faith should step in and say, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will never and you shall not. And that moment, you cut the bond and the tie you have with them by the blood of Jesus Christ, by faith, cut it and release yourself from it. Because remember now, it is you God has given the power to. You are his child. No devil have no power over you. If you've been entertaining them for a while, thinking it was innocent, but now you realize they're not innocent because now you realize that they're trying to make trouble for you. Let them go to make the trouble and tell them to take it with them to the pit of hell and release yourself from that and turn your face to God through prayer and fasting. 
breaking every yoke and every stronghold from, from here on out. Commit your life and your ways to the Lord and know that the Lord is your present help in your time of need. You must let the Lord know what your need is. Believe by faith and it will manifest and it will happen in your life. Beloved, if you set up a plan for tomorrow to go to that demon's house, or you set up a plan for tomorrow for that demon and you to meet, call or text and say, no, no more. I will not see you. I will not see you. Go and confess your sins and deliver yourself to the Lord. Call him, text him, let him know, no. What's wrong? What happened? I have found the Lord who is better than man, better than a woman. And he has given me a greater offering than anyone can ever and will be forever. Is Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. Beloved, that's it for tonight for you. I am glad you hear this word and will be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Don't do it. Amen. 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 Hallelujah.